Hello all, and welcome to Starbricks. This is the Advanced Building Techniques course, Episode 1. Today we're going to be looking into exactly how Lego bricks work. So, Lego bricks. You may think they are quite simple building blocks, but believe it or not, they are really quite complicated. Think about what goes into just connecting these two simple bricks. The precise width and length. The right thickness of the cylinder. The perfect distance between the connectors so that it sticks but can still come off without a lot of trouble. That's a lot to put into one design. It's a wonder they can pull it off at all. It really explains why so many companies have issues. Well, to do all this, you've got to have your own very special system. Now, I could describe this one by one in millimeters. That would be nine by six millimeters tall and eight millimeters wide. But let's make that into our own units. Legometers. The thickness of a wall on a brick would be one legometer. If the interior is 3x3 three three Lego meters, then the width of a 1x1 one one is 5 Lego meters. The height is 1 Lego meter more, 6. So a 1x1 one one brick has a ratio of 5 to 6, and its dimensions are 5x5x6 five by five by Lego meters. Additionally, the stud, minus the words on top of course, is one Lego meter tall and three Lego meters wide. If we take a look at the Technic brick, we'll see that it's almost the exact same. The hole is also three Lego meters wide, so it's a perfect fit for a stud. So what do we know so far? Well, a brick is a five by six Lego meter construction. So this one by two plate is five by 10 by two Lego meters because a plate is a third of a brick. And this two by two brick is a 10 by 10 by 10 Lego construction. In fact, the distance between studs is also two Lego meters. Now, when we put this into practice, we can make some interesting things. We can make a five brick tall tower and it's the same as a two by six brick. If something has these ratios in Lego meters, it's considered to be in the system. Now, most pieces are considered to be in the system because they can connect with some other piece. This is why it's called the Lego system. A few more measurements. The 4L bar is two Lego meters by 20 Lego meters. And a clip is exactly the same inside as the 4L bar, two Lego meters, but on the outside it's four Lego meters. This is why a plate fits inside of a clip. All of these measurements will come in handy one time or another, I promise. Going out on a tangent now, when using bricks, if the measurement makes a perfect right angle, then the Legos can attach. In this, the sides are four studs, five studs, and the longest, six studs. If you have any multiples of these, like eight, 10, and 12, they will connect, making some interesting railings. I hope you learned a little something today. Now, I'm no mathematician, but I think it must be very hard to produce things so very precise. So give LEGO a hand for all their hard work and go build something. Good luck. See you next time when we look at a bunch of snot. If you can't wait for that video, go ahead and like or subscribe. Thank you all for watching. This has been Starbricks.